Welcome biologists to this session where we're going to take a look at natural selection. This is part of classification evolution spec point H and within this we have to look at how all of these things here can change the characteristics of a population over time. Now Darwin came up with the theory of natural selection not evolution and natural selection is where a series of events will, will allow the evolution of a species over time. So everything in the red box here is taken directly from the mark scheme. The bits that are underlined have been on several mark schemes and are the most important things to mention in your answers. Now it's important here that your answer is adapted to what the question is asking and we'll go through some examples of that as we go through the video. So the first thing to understand is, is that there's genetic variation within a population. So for example, if you look at the human species, there's no two individuals that are alike except for identical twins. We ha Everyone has genetic variation. And a mutation can arise that is random. And a, this random mutation could be advantageous to the individual, allowing it to have an edge of survival and increase its chance at survival, or it could have no effect in the increase of survival, or it could have a negative effect on, the in, on, on survival. Now, in natural selection, we're looking for those that are advantageous alleles that are going to give the organism an edge at survival and therefore are more likely to pass on those alleles to their future offspring and future generations. Now, due to sexual selection, these advantageous alleles are going to be passed on to their large numbers of offspring. And this is where we need to mention whatever that selective pressure is in the question in our answer here. Now, for example, that could be predation. It could be um, a change in weather, for example, having more snow in a certain area. So then therefore camouflage. It could be a disease that's causing that selection pressure. You basically have to just put in here whatever is in the question. Now, those that are most likely to have that mutation are more likely to survive and pass on these alleles to future generations. Now, again, it's important here that we insert here what the mutation is of this particular allele. Um, and we also need to put in that the, these um, alleles will increase in frequency over time. Um, now, it's really important that we say what the mutation is and what the selection pressure is from the exam question. Okay, so here we go. We'll look at an example of this in, um, as given from one in the exam. So different selection pressures could be suitability for food, predators, diseases, and chemical or physical factors. So here's an example of the black peppered moth. So the black peppered moth, they used to be white. Um, as the trees used to be much paler in colour, but due to the Industrial Revolution, the trees actually became much darker, which meant that the white moths stood out and were more likely to be eaten by predators, such as birds. Whereas those moths that developed um, the allele that coded for black wings were more likely to survive and passed on their alleles to future generations. So if we pop that into our uh, mnemonic our, um, layout here, we start off with this genetic variation within the moth population and due to mutation that is random, due to sexual selection passing on those alleles and due to a large number of offspring, we have the colour of the trees or pollution or predation acting as a selection pressure. Those that have that mutation that code for the darker wings are more likely to survive and the allele that codes for the darker wings um, is going to be passed on and I'll get an increase in the allele frequency coding for those darker wings over time. And that is pretty much everything that we need to talk about there. And here we have the summary of it. So guys, don't forget when you're talking about an exam question to do with natural selection, please include the bits from the exam question to actually get you as many marks as you possibly can. And that's everything we know about natural selection.